Hello and welcome back. This is a Claymore build. Um, I know I've done Claymore builds before, but at first this is my first guide in Claymore. At second, I have seen Claymore going less and less in crop dungeons, and I'm not letting Claymore die, to be honest. Claymore is still one of the best, like arguably top 10, or maybe even top 5 weapons in corrupted dungeons, according to my own like recommendation. But easy way, uh, basically what I did here, I took my claymore, took this build exactly, and went, by the way I'm going run, not giant, but just in case, like I need giant, uh, and this girl, so I took it, I went to corrupted dungeons, I played 10 games, I didn't play a claymore for like over a month, maybe 2 or even 3 months, you can check that from the websites that make you check that. And I took it, played 10 games, and that's a win rate of 100% from the 10 games. You're gonna see the whole 10 games, how they went, and what did I make mistake on, what was I supposed to work on better, what was he supposed to do to counter me. And you're gonna see everything. Let's hop up and watch the video together. Okay, so this is the start of the video. I have noticed that this guy's an Lizard, another claymore and he was already stacked on me that was my mistake i should have stacked on the pillar and then this thingy and i should have for sure used my resi pot here so he doesn't e me like with full but like my only situation here where i go and you can see he has all the advantage on me but he's playing a soldier armor so i actually have a cleric rope that means i can cleric rope e him with an extra 30 percent damage and he cannot do anything about it, which is gonna put me in a huge advantage as you see here. So here I use my cleric robe as an offensive state, not a defensive state, and you can always like you need to always remember that cleric robe can be used either defensive or offensive. Uh apologies by the way if this video is a bit long, I'm gonna try to be as specific as possible on the videos. My guy here Totally got confused, he doubled the other state, and you can see that he jointed way too uh, late. He should have jointed in the beginning. And I noticed that he has a mage cowl on, that's why you can see here, when he put the skull on my head, I already inspected him, noticed the mage cowl, when he put the skull on my head, it's like a specific play that he's just gonna pop up his magic rope so I don't declare crop it. So right now, I stopped attacking him and cleric roped so I don't get burst. And I didn't even need to use my resistance pot. And here I just wanted you guys to see that there is another way to tank it. Which is, in your E, you got a 0 0.8 seconds where you're immune in the animation itself. So you can take his E on your immunity and you can see it here i took zero damage because i was immune uh, of course it was like a troll to do that because i can miss time it but i wanted you guys to see it on a video so like to know what i'm talking about you need to always know sometimes you can even e with, no, with not a single stack to just immune a huge damage skill but either way, you can see here, I respawned in a really bad place, and I got attacked by so many dogs, and then the guy came in rushing to me because my health was low a bit, and he didn't notice that it's kinda in my advantage because I'm gonna have the stacks, he gonna get attacked too, and he's not gonna be able to run from me. Here the Rizzy bot was kinda overextended, to be honest, I should have probably switched to a healing bot, but... I didn't really, like, you can see when he came, he just started rushing in at the same time, so I just used the resi bot here in case he attacked me, so I don't lose any advantage. And here it's just about time, basically, because you cannot overrun a claymore or, like, most swords, actually. Even with wind last, you can see, and even with the idea that I got stabbed by the mob, like that slows everything, and here I kind of uh, cancel the animation of my own Q in the beginning, and here he started a bit healing, but I already have full stack, so kind of doomed. So for his case, he should have been more careful. 
to be honest, I'm not a fan of one-handed spear in corrupted dungeons, but he should have been way more careful. And that's a whispering bow, that's why I took like the whole curvy circle, because I knew he would have the Q push to like try to make me take one of the, um, I don't know what called, fireballs, I guess. And here it's just about, I know I have the advantage, but he actually have it because I'm the one who has full cooldowns, he's the one who has the whole distance between us. That's why I didn't want to hard push on him, but now since my cooldowns are coming back, I can hardly push on him. And you just need to QE him and then another Q to make sure that you're a bit fast. And then he decided to actually... Merc jacket and try to survive it, but there is just no way. <coughs> Here I'm just pre stacking. Always remember to pre stack when you're playing swords, it's one of your most important advantages. He saw that I'm pre stacking, so that's why he tried to run away to make me lose my stacks. That's why we're using this tab to raise away. So in case he runs away, you can renew your stacks with the W while it's like almost ending and it gives you movement to speed. At the same time, this W makes you immune to purges. So it's a really good way to bait a purge by a cleric rope and then W yourself. So like if he fin cows you, he just doesn't purge anything because you're immune to purges. And here I was just stopping him because he has his royal boots. That's why I eat here. And here, I don't know, like, to be honest, he should know that there's no way that you can over run a claymore. So you can just see just about time when my E comes or like my puts and E comes. But here I wanted to use the puts to get a stack first so I can actually kill him with the E itself and like end it. So it doesn't continue running. Okay. Here I should have pre-stacked on the mob on the bottom. But yeah, here that was a dagger pair, I think. And um, I did see him in the end of my screen. That's why I was like confused if I was lagging or what happened there. But apparently he popped up his assassin jacket. So I made a huge mistake here. But I already seen him. So that's why I swapped to my giant boots. And that's why I have taken this pass. Now he gonna try to go again. That's why I'm just trying to stack here in case he goes to me. I'm eating him. He's for a weird reason on a 40 sterling cape. But anyway, he already got the dogs on him. So I don't need to rush anything, even if he's super low. All I just needed to do here is to eat him once. And one of the mobs is gonna like basic attack him or something. And he's just gonna... Did I fear? Uh, I kind of panicked a little bit there, you can see. But overall, I did take it back. Like, I panicked because I thought I lacked, to be honest. <laughs> and then it was his assassin jacket, which is like a really old trick for me to fall into. And that's it. It's so weird that he was on a Fort Sterling Cape. Uh, you can see her next. That's a cursed staff. Yeah, that's a cursed staff. And his reaction was really nice with his cleric cow. That's like the first time for me to see him. That's why I already lost my E. He has his full advantage on. So I just said, we reset this. We like hardly reset it. The good part about running or trying to reset it like that is just because... People tends to like lose their own focus on the game when they are resetting. Like right here, the dogs is gonna come to him and he gonna go to Toxic if he wants to run for me. But he decided to run for me anyway and he lost half of his health in the process. So right now I'm just looking for any stacks because I know he doesn't have his cleric cow. So all I need to do is to stack him. But I didn't know that he had an Avalon beef stew, to be honest, which is my fault that I didn't check it on. But 
here the resi potted carried the whole thingy and here his mistake you should have continued attacking me i was so low already like a key on the basic attack i would have died before i could kill him but sometimes people just panic and start running for no reason that's something you should really focus on uh that's a reggae ball Notice here it's a Rigipo, that's why I'm just eing him and when he starts to use giant stacks, I'm just running away. Dipping out, giant has a 60 seconds cooldown, don't forget that. So right now, according to normal Rigipo's, this guy is... I didn't expect him, but like in my head, uh, that's how it is. It's like, he's giant boots, since he has giant boots, that means he's guardian boots, mercenary jacket, and... Most probably a Hellion Hood, because that's like the standard build for Riggy Pose. The standard toxic build, I would say. Here I'm just coming back to E him again, and I'm gonna run anyway. And he used his Hellion Hood as I was trying to bait it. That's a good thing. So right now I have like 30 seconds on his giant, maybe 20 seconds, and like... I have, he doesn't have a Hellion Hood, so all is he having left is 20 seconds for his giant and almost, I would say almost, like, uh, no, not almost, he doesn't have the Hellion Hood. So either way, here I'm just going in, now he noticed that he's in a really bad situation not having two of his defensives, so he tries to run. And as we said earlier, it's really hard to run from a, uh, from a sword player. Especially if you're in a guardian boots, you can't run. He should have just guardian mercenary jacket and went in. But I have my cleric rope anyway, so it's not going to heal from me before I kill him. And here, okay, maybe in his case, since he had health regen food, he wanted to try to run it. But either way, that's like the easiest way to play against a bow. You just need to space out his defensives, pay the defensive and run away without losing anything. Since that's why we're playing was run in a standard phase and like there was only one Yeah, there was only one case where I needed to use my giant and it didn't really help me, to be honest, it was when I panicked. Um, you can see this guy was like... Hardly wants to put me inside... Some sort of a trap, that he forgot his own positioning so hard. Like, never do that. And this guy tried to clear a Crowben E, which is really bad, since... He doesn't do anything, to be honest. And here I kind of clear a crop too late, but I guess you can see here that it doesn't really make any difference. He still tries to run with the 33 health. Bit of a weird number. Here he was gonna do that anyway, so I just wanted to take the stack to run to him. And... That's said by normal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. I did like it's a ten, it's a hundred percent win rate of ten games. You can check that on all the websites that make you check. I didn't play Claymore for over a month, so you can see it easily. I just didn't want to put it in the video so that like no copyrights or anything happens. At the same time, I just wanted to remind you guys if you wanna participate in the giveaway. Don't forget, you need to be subscribed, like the video, and leave a comment with hashtag giveaway and your in-game name. If you made it up until that part of the video, I'm so happy, and I appreciate you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. We're growing every day. Thank you so much, guys, and now we're gonna hop and see a winner for the giveaway. Peace out.